Here they are, the top features of Apple Watch Ultra. Starting off with feature number one, that gorgeous display. The Apple Watch Ultra has an all new design and a beautiful display to go with it. It is the largest Apple Watch screen available. Previously, Apple Watch is maxed out at 45 millimeters for the larger of the two sizes, but Apple Watch Ultra brings a third dimension into play and that's a new 49 millimeter display. It is also vastly brighter. The Apple Watch Series 8 and the Apple Watch Series 7 capped out at 1,000 nits of brightness, but Apple Watch Ultra can, can get up to 2,000 nits of brightness when you're in that bright sunlight. Additionally, the screen is flat and it's reinforced with that titanium edge, so if you ever do bump this up against something, chances are you're not going to hurt that display. Number two on the list is water resistance. Regular versions of the Apple Watch are certified for 50 meters of water resistance, basically swim proof. But the Apple Watch Ultra is rated for 100 meters or 333 feet of water resistance. Additionally, it's been certified for recreational scuba diving to 40 meters. That's enough for basically all recreational scuba diving because standard certifications, even for advanced open water certifications, is just around 40 meters. Plus, the Apple Watch Ultra includes a depth gauge app that's able to give you your depth of your dive and the water temperature. Or you can choose the third-party Oceanic Plus app available later in 2022 that'll act as a full dive computer. Number three on the list is the action button. The action button is this button located on the left-hand side, at least for left-handed Apple Watch users, and it can be programmed to do a bunch of different things. During setup of your Apple Watch Ultra, Apple will ask you what you'd like to use that watch for with several different options, including starting workouts, uh, starting a backtrack, or turning on the flashlight. But it can also tie into any shortcuts that you create. So what this button does is kind of up to you. Third-party apps can also use it as well. So if you're in the Oceanic Plus app, you can just use that to go ahead and start a dive. Then we have the Wayfinder watch face. The Wayfinder face is exclusive to the Apple Watch Ultra. It has this really big face, takes advantage of all that space on that 49 millimeter display, and has a bunch of information on it. You can see longitude and latitude, you can start uh, tracking, you can see compass information, and when you rotate the digital crown, it gives you this really neat dark look that has a black background with red all over the display. It's very cool, and you won't find it on any other Apple Watch. Number five, battery. Apple says you can achieve up to 36 hours of use time on the Apple Watch Ultra. That's double what the Series 8 is rated for, which is about 18 hours. Of course, this depends on how you're using it, but Apple says 36 hours is pretty typical. I've seen more than that in my testing of the Apple Watch Ultra. This watch also supports fast charge and low power mode but a new battery optimization feature arriving later this year will mean you can get up to 60 hours of battery life on the Apple Watch Ultra. That brings us to that titanium body. Apple Watch SE only comes in aluminum, and the Apple Watch Series 8 comes in either aluminum or stainless steel, but the Apple Watch Ultra is available in only one material and one color, titanium. With the Apple Watch Series 7, Apple did offer titanium bodies in both a darker color and a lighter color, but those are gone with Series 8. So if you want to take advantage of that super strong and lightweight titanium, your only option is the Apple Watch Ultra. What about the speaker? Apple Watch Ultra has the largest speaker ever on an Apple Watch. It can create an 86 decibel siren to help you attract attention, and it is audible up to 600 feet away. Let's take a look at the bundled Apple Watch Ultra charging cable. Aside from supporting fast charging, the Apple Watch Ultra also comes with a metal and a nylon wrapped charging cable. Lastly on my list is support for different Apple Watch bands. And there's a couple different aspects of it here. First, Apple is launching the Apple Watch Ultra with three band choices. There is the ocean band designed for scuba diving. It can expand to fit over a wetsuit. You have the alpine loop, which is a design for hiking in the outdoors. 
Then there's the trail loop, which is great for running and everything like that. They all have very specific features for their purposes. But the Apple Watch Ultra will also fit any 42, 44, or 45 millimeter bands that you happen to have around. So if you picked up the original Apple Watch and you had that 42 millimeter size, your bands will still work with the all new Apple Watch Ultra and that backwards compatibility cannot be overlooked. So that's it, those are my top features that are here and exclusive to the Apple Watch Ultra. Let me know what you guys think and if you'd like to save some money on an Apple Watch Ultra of your own, there are links down below in the description.